friend, and welcome to Becoming Aligned, the podcast with Lauren Ricks. I'm so excited and so honored you are here. This podcast is for you if you are an on-the-go mompreneur looking for a different way of doing life and business, a more God-centered way that feels aligned with how you want to show up in this season of life you are in right now. Because I see you, mama, hustling around the clock, burnt out, and missing out out on all the moments that you thought you would see because you can't let go of the hustle. There is a different way. And in this podcast, we will cover conversations about God and your faith, being an entrepreneur, all things mother, and out of the box thinking. I cannot wait to take you on this journey with me. Welcome back to Becoming Aligned, my friends. I am so glad you're here and so honored you're here. Today I have like a bonus episode for you, kind of updating you on what is happening, what has been happening in my spiritual journey, my behind the scenes journey over the last week. But first, before we jump in, if you have not checked out my creation experience yet and you are a working mom wanting to maybe take on a side hustle, start a side hustle, start your own business, this is for you. This is also for you if you are in business, have been in business, and let's say you became, you become a mom and your business is not feeling in alignment with motherhood and you want to rebrand, you want to really work on becoming more aligned within your business, your motherhood, your life journey, this is also for you. So I wanted to give you kind of like two different scenarios for the creation experience. The links for that are in the show notes. I also have an experience, my Becoming Intensives, where we really work on becoming aligned in all areas of your life. So it's not necessarily offer creation or business creation. It's more so becoming aligned with where God has called you to be, making sure your days are aligned with where you want to be, how your season of life is, and really just becoming, quote unquote, more aligned with who you desire to be and who God created you to be. It's the real unbecoming of this journey. So both those show notes, both those links are in the show notes. So today, I'm just going to come out and say it. I am doing a social media fast for 21 days. And I'm scared shitless, to be honest with you, but also have so much peace and excitement to see what God has in store for the next 21 days to a month. So this kind of came along. I mean, on if I'm being if I'm being truthful, I feel like God put this on my heart last year, January last year, 2022, when my Instagram got hacked and he was like, start a podcast and I started a podcast. I feel like he gave me the nudge to kind of let Instagram slash social media go, but I had such a grip on it because we hear so often, if you want to build a business, you need to be on social media, you need to be on all the platforms, you need to be doing all the things. And I have been in the online space on social media trying to build a business for over a decade and um. God has just put it on my heart to do something different, let go of the old ways of thinking I needed to do things and step into something new. And so over this last year, I've been cultivating my podcast and, you know, like getting so much clarity on how it is I really want to help you in your business and in your life. And this last week, we've had this conference at our church called Spiritual Emphasis Week. And Um, one of the speakers on the first night, he talked about closing doors, closing chapters, closing things that, you know, maybe are no longer serving you, closing things that God is trying to like get you to let go of so he can open new doors. And instantly my mind went to Facebook and Instagram, like social media in general, not just Facebook, but social media in general. And here's why. I am not saying that like social media is bad. It's not a bad platform. But for me, I can get trapped so easily in this comparison game when I get on different platforms. And I 
can go down this spiral of like comparison. I'm not where I should be. I should be farther along. I'm missing something. I need to be doing more. And I go into this huge spiral um, before I know it. And I start overdoing, overthinking, overcompensating, and the doubt and the worry and the shame and all of that comes flooding in. And Social media can be such a powerful tool for the positive and for the negative, right? But also knowing that like there are people who are being paid billions of dollars to create these social media apps that keep us addicted to being on it, right? And I want to be in power of my own choice, my own reaction, my own thoughts, my own quote unquote obsessions, right? And I feel like when I am on social media, I don't have that control of that power, right? I'm not in control of who sees my stuff. I'm not in control of where it goes. I'm not in control of, you know, what's being shown and what's not being shown. Um, And I'm kind of to a point where I'm like, I've been praying to God, like, you know, expand my business, overflow my business. And I keep coming back to it's time to do things a different way. And I don't know what that is necessarily going to look like besides like starting my podcast, right? Which I have done like a year ago. But our church, coming back to our church, um, they're doing a 21 day fast starting on the 23rd. So literally Sunday, you guys are listening to this on Saturday. It will be tomorrow. Um, I will be prepping for this 21 day fast and I am going to be letting go of social media for that 21 days. Now, this is very scary for me. As I said, I have been on social media for over a decade. I have never taken 21 days off of social media. It's scary to think what the hell is going to happen, right? How is my business going to grow if I'm not on social media? Okay, well, God is an amazing God and he will bring the right people to me through my podcast, through email, through wherever, right? And so I'm playing this duality of being so scared, like my my business, my social media, my quote unquote, this is being dramatic, life is going to crumble. Um, but also on the complete opposite, I am feeling this sense of like free, freeing and peace and excitement to see what God has in store for me because I'm being obedient. A year ago, I was not obedient in listening to this um, this action he has he had given me, and I feel like I am being obedient to this because it's come to me multiple times. Like it's the thing that comes up when I'm like, I need to do things different. What does that look like? Being on social media less. And here's the powerful thing about building your own business, right? There's many different ways to build it. There's many different ways to get in front of people. And I have been limiting myself, I feel like, to social media. And one mentor I listened to, um, she was explaining social media kind of like a, you know, an auditorium where all these business owners, all these entrepreneurs, everybody really in general is in screaming out what they're trying to offer, screaming out what they need, screaming out what they they want, screaming out what they're selling. And everybody's just screaming at the top of their lungs, trying to get noticed, trying to be seen. And I'm tired of it, to be honest with you. So I am going to be taking a 21 day maybe longer. I don't know. We'll see how the 21 days goes off of social media. I will be pouring more into my podcast. So I might be doing three episodes a week just because I'm somebody who I have things to say. And that was something too. I was, I was nervous to not have a place to voice um, my thoughts, to share my inspiration, to share quotes and that kind of stuff. So I will be making more podcast episodes um, over that time. I also created a free community on the platform is called Mighty Networks. So it has its own app and this will be a place you guys, I'll put the link in the show notes. If you want to join that, it will be a place where I will share things. I'll share Bible verses. I'll share quotes. I'll share posts. I'll share whatever, like whatever I was sharing on Instagram, like on my social medias, I will be sharing in this community to still serve, to still add value, to still have a place to like connect.